Good morning, everyone. This is Michael at my Crooked Road Homestead. Hope everybody's doing fine this morning. Today, I'm going to show you the measurements and everything on my brake that I used to bend this wire up for these quail. And uh, this is it that you're looking at right now. But I've got these pieces here, this piece here is a piece that goes in there like that, sits in there. And if you'll notice on these bolts, these are three-inch bolts. I don't know, I'd get them, get five-inch bolts, three-inch, you'll need two of those. And what I did was I drilled these holes in them, and you're, the wire that I'm using is 24 inches. So if you use different wire, well, naturally you have to build your, if you use 36 inch wire, well, then you'd have to build this break at least 36 inches between your, between your bolts. But if you'll look on my top piece up here, I've got these marks on it and I've got the center mark on it. And that's my 24 inches. And when you set these, these here, these deals here, I just made them out of metal. They go on the on there like that, on these like that, and then this piece here sets on sets on there like that. And I put springs under them. It got me a couple of little springs that I put under them. And what that does is that keeps that that keeps that up. So when you push down on it, you can just see. I can push down on it, and uh, when you when you uh, put your washer on there like that, and then add your put your wing nut on it. I'm trying to do this one handed, I'm not real good at it, but put your nuts on it like that, and. Same way on this end. Put them on there just like that. And that way, you'll see it lets it go up and down. And that way you can pull your wire through it. Pull your wire through it. And then where you get it, where you want it, well, then you can tighten those down. And then you take this. I've got, I just, let me back up here a little bit. I, I just took a rod and put, made me a handle on it like that. Then all I gotta do is reach in here and grab it like that, bend it, and that's why I, that's why I form it. But the measurements on this particular break, this is a piece of one by six right here, and it's 34 inches long. And then this piece of inch and a half by inch and a half tubing, this piece right here in front that's got the handle on it, piece of inch and a half by inch and a half, it's 32 inches long. And then my piece of inch and a half by inch and a half wood that I've got up here, it's 26 and a half inches long. And on the ends of these, when you drill these holes out, You'll see, and it, you'll have to notch out the ends because when you're bending metal up with this, well, then you'll have to take your wing nuts off to get your metal out of it. But this this really works really, really good. I mean, this is what I built all these pins out of is with this, and then down there on the floor down here, you can see I, I built me a, a little rack to mount my wire on where I can just pull that wire out as I want it. But, and it works really, really good. I mean, this, this has been a, been a time saver and it's easy to build. Uh, these hinges that's on this are two and a half inch. You'll need two of those, but you can make this, you can make this longer. You know, if, if you want to make it, if you want to build you one, to accommodate uh, 36 inch wire, 
then I would cut this piece of one by six. I'd make it 40 inches and, and the same on your, on your inch and a half. I'd, I'd make those both that and that way when you put your hinges on here, you put your hinges out here and you can screw them wherever you want to out here. You got plenty of room at the end. So that gives you, you know, that gave you plenty of room. So, but I just built this one to, for this 24 inch wire. And like I said, this has really worked great for, for building these cages. On my last video, I, I told you that I was done with my, with my, uh, building these pins for a while, which I am, I'm, I'm through with it. But yesterday while I was trying to put this, my last video, my number six video on, I, uh, got out here and these pins that I had dividers in them. Well, I, I, I came in and I, I took the dividers out of, out of a couple of them. If you'll look down here and here, you can still see the J clips in there, but I got the wire out of it. And this was one of the, this pin here and this pin right here, they had J clip, they had wire in the center of them, but I got them out of them. So now I've got, five pins that don't have any dividers in them. These last two pins over here have, have, uh, dividers in them. I'm going to keep them that way. Uh, what, you know, I got to thinking last night, I was sitting in the house and in my cabin and I was thinking about, about this and, and what I want to do eventually is now that I've got Let's say I've got four pins up there that I'm going to use for uh, my breeding birds. You know, and I told you on my last video that I plan on putting four hens and a rooster in each one of these pins. Well, I had yesterday, before I got these dividers out of these other two pins, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I, I'd only have 12 birds. But now that I've got five pins with no dividers, then that'd give me, you know, that'd give me 20 birds. So that would give me, you know, basically I'd be getting 20 eggs. So in five days, I'd have 100 eggs that I could incubate. So that's why I wanted to get these out. But it's going to take me a while before I get my flock built up to, to, that number of birds and that number of hens and everything, because you're not guaranteed, you know, out of each hatch, you're not guaranteed what you're going to get. Heck, you might get out of a hatch of 20 birds, you might get 15 of them that are roosters and one hen. So you never know, you know, but you just have to, you just have to keep going. But the more eggs you got, well, the more chances you have to, to produce more hens. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm needing now. I've got, I've got, uh, plenty of roosters. I've got, uh, I got four roosters now. So, you know, I've got two roosters in that one pen right there. So, but anyway, that's, that's kind of my update. But, you know, when I, I started these videos, I was going to show, I wanted to show this, uh, this little break that I built because this thing has just been, it's been a lifesaver on, on doing these, these pins, but maybe it'll be some help to someone out there. I sure hope so, but there it's easy to build it. You know, you don't have any welding or anything on it. These springs that I've got in here, I had some old uh, electric heaters, and I tore them apart to get the metal off the front of them for my incubator. And I found these springs in it. So, uh, that was just a plus, but I used it, but this works really good because all you have to do is, like I said, when you tighten them down, then it lets you be able to bend this up, you know, bend your metal up. And if you look at my pins, you know, each of my pins on, on these tops and everything where I folded them. It just, they're just so nice and they're smooth and, and they just look good. I mean, these pins look good, especially with having this 
two inch turn in on the top all the way around you know it just it really it really adds to these pins and these uh poop trays you know i i left these these egg trays in here and i you know i really <laughs> it's funny i've got i got those egg trays in there and <clears throat> i had to put those pieces of corrugated plastic in the front because uh of losing the birds in the egg trays but since i've got this set up like this now uh i found it almost as easy to open that lid up and get the eggs out instead of of uh taking all these waters and feeders off and having to open them them uh egg trays up but i'm glad i got the egg trays on them because it gives me a little shelf there to to mount all my canisters for my canisters to have something to set on uh that one there you look it's kind of up off that off that egg tray if i push it down a little bit but i i don't worry about it you know i used to use rubber bands and i went to harbor freight and i found these little bungee cords and those have just been perfect on this. Heck, I got, I think I got a jar of, I think there was 20 in that jar for like six bucks. Well, shoot. My rubber bands worked fine. The only thing about the rubber bands is though, they didn't last but a couple of weeks and they seemed to rot. Maybe it's cause I got poor rubber bands or whatever. But these bungee cords, I'm not worried about them. Plus I took, my clips off the top that I was using and I'm using these bungee cords to hold my tops down and it just it kind of cleans it up makes it makes it look a little cleaner and everything and you know but like I said you just got to learn so that's the way we do it well anyway I'm gonna get off here but before I do please remember if you haven't su 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 to subscribe to me if you haven't done that yet Hit the bell button and give me a thumbs up. And please leave me some comments. You know, I really would like, maybe you can tell me some, maybe some ideas of something that you might like to see for me to try to do and everything. I've, I've got a pellet stove that I'm updating and everything. I'm going to get a video on about it and everything. I got my rain totes in the back of my cabin. I'm going to do a video on them, but that's just things that are upcoming. So, but anyway, as I always say, have a blessed day and be good. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye.